What are your salary expectations? This query can make us feel like a deer in headlights. Let's take a look at how to navigate this tricky topic. It's a tricky question, especially if you're in the early stages of your career and don't know what an appropriate entry-level salary might be. Fear not. Let's look at how to answer this complex question, so you can go into your next interview feeling more prepared and confident. Let's start by talking about strategy number one. This one is all about redirecting the conversation. It's totally your right to protect your own interests, and you might feel like you don't have enough information to answer the question accurately. The thing to remember is that the time to discuss salary is after they've fallen in love with you. So if the interviewer is pressing you for a response, you can say something like, I'm still trying to fully understand the role and what's involved. I'd love to continue talking about my qualifications and why I think I'm a fit for the position. Another option is to ask the interviewer about their budget and whether there's room to negotiate. Now let's talk about strategy number two. This one is all about offering a salary range. Before your interview, you'll want to do your salary research so that you have a realistic idea of the typical salary range for the role and can provide an informed response. You can do your own research using sites like Glassdoor and Salary.com, or you can ask people in your network who hold similar roles in your industry or even work at the company you're interviewing with. Once you've landed on a range you're comfortable with, you can state your range and provide a rationale for why you've landed on that range, and then signal your flexibility. But why do hiring managers and recruiters even ask this question? The simple answer is that they want to be sure they can afford you. It's in their best interest not to waste their time if they can't meet your expectations. From the candidate's perspective, answering the question can help to ensure that the opportunity is a good fit for you and that there is a mutual understanding of the compensation and benefits being offered. So, whether and how you answer the question is up to you. By following the guidelines I've shared with you today, you'll be able to assess which approach feels most comfortable to you and which is most likely to keep you in the running for the job. So, happy job hunting and don't forget to be confident, because you've got this.